I'm Richard Weichardt, and this is a short devotional based on Psalm 80, verse 19, which says, Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Now, those first words, restore us, implies that in the past, we've been at a better or higher position than we are now. And this can apply to us as individuals, it can apply to us as a church, it can apply to us as a nation. In Psalm 80, in particular, it's applying to the nation of Israel. Uh, but we know that this can apply in all sorts of situations where we need to be restored. Uh, in the book of Revelation, Jesus told the church of Ephesus that even though they were doing lots of good things, they were doing good works, they had good teaching, they had a lot of wonderful things, but he said, you still, I have this against you, that you've lost your first love. And so there's ways in which many of us need restoration. We can think back maybe to the days when we were young Christians, and you know, we were all fired up and excited about the Lord, and maybe we've strayed a little bit from that. Maybe we've got a little too uh, much uh, doing things by rote, and, uh, and maybe we're doing good things, but maybe we still need some restoration. So the beginning of this uh, passage says, Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Cause your face to shine. And you know, we have the saying in English about people's faces being radiant or beaming. And what does that mean? It means that their faces are joyful, cheerful, uh, looking with favor upon what they're seeing. And this is what we, how we want God to be. We want God to be looking upon us with favor. We want God to be uh, joyful when he looks at us and what we are doing. So this means we need to bring our lives in line and in harmony with him and with his way so that he will look upon us with favor and, and so that we'll have his, his, the joy of his heart you know, over us. So this is a wonderful prayer to be praying. You know, God, cause your face to shine and we shall be saved. So the last part of it is a wonderful promise that, Lord, if his face shines upon us, if his favor is upon us, that then we are going to be saved. And we can count on that every day. Dear Lord, we thank you so much that you're here with us. We pray that your presence would be here powerfully. And we pray that you would restore us, that you would cause your face to shine upon us. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name.